Christmas. It's my gift. Sure. Do you have enough money? No, I don't. Don't worry. I'll lend you some. Oh, you're so kind. But it isn't for free. You still have to pay it with interest. What do you want? Simple or compound interest? What? I'm confused. Let me call on my friends to explain. Renaly! Hi, I'm Renaly. I will be the one to explain simple interest. Simple interest what lenders charge to a borrower for borrowing their money. It is calculated using the principal only. The interest rate is what the amount that would be charged. But wait, what is, what is an interest rate? An interest rate is the amount that the lender charges the borrower for any form of debt given. Generally expressed as the percentage of the principal. Example, if you will choose the simple interest of 5% from what Clark said, and you both agreed that you will pay it after two years and you borrowed 4,000 pesos, then what will your interest be? So to get the interest is, you need to use the formula, interest equals principal times rate times time. So based on the problem, these are the given. This is the principal, this is the rate, and this is the time. So first, you need to convert your rate into decimal, which is 0 0.05. So, substitute this given from date and from formula. So, principal, 4,000, rate 0 0.05 times is 2. So, 4,000 times 0 0.05 times 2 is equal to 400. So, your interest is 400 pesos. Now, let's move on to compound interest. A compound interest and the simple interest is different. A compound interest is instead that the interest is paid only on the principal. It is paid in the principal and the interest that you collected over, over your last period of payments. However, if you're borrowing on money, compound interest might put you in a disadvantage. If a borrower has a loan that compounds often at a high interest rate, they will have high, higher monthly payments that might not be affordable. Now, I'll give you a situation. Say you'll borrow a money of 4,000 pesos for your Christmas present, and it is at a rate of 5%. And the lender tells you that it is compounded quarterly for two years. But wait, what do you mean by compounded quarterly? That is what we call the frequency of conversion. It means that it is the number of times your interest will be compounded in a year. The more often it's compounded, the more the money you will pay. This, this is a table of the values of frequency of conversion. Right. Now let's go back. So you have a rate of 5% that is compounded quarterly. Now you will have to use 4,200 to calculate for your next payment. Let's compute for the future value this time. To get that value, use this formula. You substitute these values and then you solve for it. Just like this. For P, it's 4,000. 1 plus 0 0.05 or 5% over 4, which is the just M. And then you calculate for these values, and then you get a final value of 4,417.94 pesos, which is our future value.